Well, welcome everybody. Good afternoon to you all. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Jason Siegel. I'm the Athletic Director for the West Hartford Public Schools. Uh, welcome to Connor this afternoon, which uh, for what is always, a, for me, one of the best days of the school year. Um, we get to, on a day like today, we get to highlight the, the, the top of the top, the best of the best student athletes in the building. Uh, we have a lot of great student athletes, but, you know, we have the opportunity today to highlight a few who are going to continue their careers on at the next level at some pretty awesome, amazing schools. Um, in just a minute, I'm going to invite coaches to come up to say a few words on behalf of their athletes. But before they do, I just want to extend a, uh, a thank you and congratulations to you, your families, your coaches, your teammates on awesome careers here at Conrad High School. Uh, as we all know, they're great student athletes, but these are just awesome kids who are going to make a huge impact on their campus when they arrive. Um, and for me, that's what I'm most uh, um, thankful, appreciative of. Everything that you've learned throughout the last 17, 18 years, you're going to bring to your campus, um, onto the field, onto the course, onto the court. Um, and I wish you nothing but success. We look forward to following your careers. Um, hopefully you'll come back and share some awesome stories to, for, to, with us. Um, but on behalf of Connor, West Hartford, congratulations. Best of luck to you. Um, before I invite the coaches, if I know we're in a cozy environment, but just let's just go right down the line, say your name, sport, and where you're going. Uh, my name is Will Gregware. Um, O'Reilly Fox, um, playing basketball at Yale University. Natalia Pez, I'm playing soccer at Central Connecticut State University. And the lady Ryder, I'm playing volleyball at Emerson College. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to offer an invitation to any coaches in the room to come up and say a few words on behalf of their student athletes. And in no particular order, Coach Leghorn, thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to keep it short. There's a lot I could say about Riley. Uh, he came in uh, to Conard uh, his freshman year as the COVID season, uh, kind of a skinny kid, braces, and uh, he, he could play. We knew he could play, so we knew he was a good student, so we started each, reaching out to you know, the NESCAC schools, the Trinities and all those. And he came back as a sophomore, just unbelievably uh, ready to, I thought, be a Division One athlete. Um, that there's not a harder worker uh, in the building, uh, in the state, in my opinion. Uh, there's not a nicer person. I always tell anyone that I'll listen. He's a nicer person. He's a better person than he is a basketball player. Um, he's been a dream to coach. Um, and we, as a West Hartford community, a Connor community, we're just really lucky that um, he chose to stay at Connor. The way basketball works, um, a lot of kids will go prep and reclass. And I asked him and I asked him, he's finally one day, coach, stop asking me, I want to do this at Connor. Um, so he did it his way. Um, and we are just lucky to have him. Best of luck to you next year. Best of luck to everyone else. So I think we should clap that. Coach Will for the last four years, um, just as uh, Coach over there said, I knew he just asked me. He goes, Coach, do you think that I'd be signing Division One? Um, Division One. I, I knew immediately the first time I saw him play. First, the first year immediately. Um, very hard worker. Um, he has an infectious attitude um, with the, with the players that he is around, which is really good. He's infectious for opposing players as well, which is um, he's even talked a few of them to do things that they are not capable to do, um, like hit balls over water. <laughs> so that that has also happened. Um, I I said at our awards thing the other night that you know I feel like uh, Denzel Washington and remember the Titans when he said you know you can't replace a Bertier. It's going to be really hard for us to replace a Greg Ware. But we do have some very young talent that he took under his wing this year, which was another side that I saw to him that I hadn't seen before, which was amazing. So he's going to do well um, out in Maryland. Uh, now he's going to go play against um, some of the big boys. So <laughs> Not that he didn't play them here. So now we're just rooting that he becomes Gatorade Player of the Year because he's leading right now. He's got to wait for the spring season. So that's... Okay, I'm gonna miss him. 
great that great to coach him. So congratulations, everybody. Uh, it's fantastic for all four of you, and I know there's a couple other people here. My name is B.J. Lewis. This was my first year coaching at Conrad, kind of, but I've actually known Taylor since she was three or four years old. But this is the first time we are ever on the soccer field together. And um, she, Taylor is a fierce defender. She's a fierce competitor. Um, she was also our leading scorer. She was our leading point getter. And she was like another coach in the field. Uh, being my first year, it was fantastic to have her. A lot of times I caught myself like saying something and then I'm hearing her saying the same thing or she was saying something to a teammate on there and then I was saying the same thing to the bench and it was great to have that. But the better part of Taylor was the person she is. Um, she brought levity to practice. We had some jokes. Sometimes I drive her nuts a little bit. Um, but we had a lot of great jokes. She also brought the competitive to practice that sometimes like other kids were a little down or a little this, you know, like, you know, no matter what, she is going to put the ball in the back of the net as hard as she can, no matter where it was. Um, she played hard, and, and that was a lot of fun because as you're sitting there at practice, bringing that competitive side to it, but also smiling and having fun with it, it was great. Um, and we had a little bit of rain this fall, so sometimes the weather wasn't the best going on side, and Taylor was always there with a smile on her face, um, making other kids take it to another level, trying to compete, trying to get better. And I think, you know, having her in my first year was great. It was, I always look forward to having Taylor at practice and having some fun with it. But I know her teammates loved having her, and that's going to make us be a better program next year. I know Taylor's going to be an absolute great teammate at Central. I know she gets to go play with her sister now, too. Uh, but I know Central is getting not only a great player, but a better person. I know you're going to be have a great career there. I'm looking forward to seeing you play there. So congratulations, Taylor. We're going to miss you, uh, but you made our program better. Thank you. I'm Carrie Roller. I'm the head volleyball coach here. Um, this is actually my 26th season here. And I want to say that Lily is probably one of our most decorated athletes that we have had. Um, I can start listing off. She also obviously started in the COVID year where we only played eight matches. She's been a varsity letter winner all four years. Um, all conference, three years. Still waiting on Allstate for this year, but she's already been selected as the all region team for the national organization, the ABCA. And she was also selected as best and brightest, which goes by her GPA for ABCA. So she has a lot of, um, honors, awards that she has accumulated over the years. Um, on the court, she's fantastic, but I think it's more than just her volleyball skills and stuff that she brings to our program. Um, she's just dedicated. Her leadership is superior. She really knows how to bring the kids together and really just shows everything that she has on the court, off the court, and she's just a great person all around. I'm going to miss her terribly, and I'm just so happy that she's moved on and playing in college. If it wasn't volleyball, I was going to ask Coach Veren here to speak because she's also an all-state golfer, all-conference golfer, and could play that sport as well. So Lily's <laughs> doing great here, and we wish her best of luck. <laughs> you know, Lily's been the face of our program since she joined us. Girls golf doesn't get the recognition that sometimes I think it deserves. I've only been doing this for six years. And since she's joined us, our program has grown. I think we have probably, if not the most, uh, close to the most kids that play um, this sport. We, have, we average 20 to 25 kids every year. And it's because of kids like her who have made the program something special. Um, it's, it's incredible when I watch her on the range and I just watch the kids watch her. And it's not just because of the golfer she is, but she is very good at it. Very good. The best player I've ever coached. Man, it's not. But it's because of the way she does things. And that's the thing that I admire most about you. I've told you this over and over and over, over again. That's the stuff that we'll miss here. Um, like pe people have said today, she's a better person than she is an athlete. And, and that's the most important, important thing. 
I got to save some of this stuff for sports awards night to <laughs> golf. But I admire her very much. I care for her very, very much. Our relationship has grown tremendously, and I'm so very proud of her. So, thanks. Thank I think I'm missing any coaches, but before we conclude, I'd like to invite Principal Hines up to also just say a few words. Amen. To you four, we are so proud. Understand that you've heard it over and over and over again this afternoon. But to everybody else, what we know about sport, one of the greatest things that we know about sport is that it is a great revealer of character. No matter what you do, and how hard you work, your character comes through when sports are in the mix. Why? How many hours have you practiced? How many games have you played? How many scrimmages have you done? How many times have you run plays and techniques over in your head over and over and over again? How many times have you visualized making a shot? How many times have you, has you, have you visualized making that putt? How many times have you thought about the constructive criticism that you've got. How many times have you criticized yourself harder than your coach has? How many times have you had to make a choice? Do I stay in and study and then go to practice? Or do I do what I really want to do? See, character, as we know, is how you act when no one's watching. The product of high character is what you see in front of you today. That's the product of high character. I don't care what any of these kids have done on a court, on a field, on a diamond, it doesn't matter. Why? Because what they have done ultimately is shown over and over and over again. The types of individuals and human beings that they are, that they're training to be, and that they're inspiring others to be. That's the great thing about sports. Because it teases out the true leaders. It teases out the people that you can take your little kid to a game and say, hey, you can be just like him. You can be just like her. And it's not just about what they do. Huh? <laughs> it's not just about that. It's about how they are. And I'm just so proud to say that you all are kind of proud. It does my heart such good. Why? Because when you're out playing next year and we're watching you, I'm the one to stump on my chest. Yeah, they went to college. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're your peasants. They went to college. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we got it. I love it. Out in the community. There's this pride, and it's because of you. It's because of you. And if you haven't finished your seasons yet, if you're about to go into the season, keep that in mind. People, you bring people joy with the way you perform and then how you are off the court, off the field, out of your spirit. Keep that up because that's what's going to take you the longest way. Not necessarily your talent. Talent fades. I know. <laughs> talent fades. But what doesn't is high character, a leader who is a leader of servitude, and giving back. Paying it forward and helping somebody to stand on your shoulders to get to where they need to be because you were able to stand on the shoulders of somebody else to get where you need to be. Keep those things in mind. You will continue to give back over and over and over again. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for being who you're trying to be. And we can't wait to see you in the future. Well done. Thank you, Principal Hines. Uh, before we conclude, uh, I just want to thank everyone for being here. Um, I know it means a lot to our students, and I, I know this is a great day for families. And just one last time, I just want to congratulate the four of you. Uh, like Principal Hines said, we look forward to watching your careers uh, continue and flourish. Um, and so good luck to you all, and uh, we look forward to watching you. So congratulations again.
at this time, that'll end our formal ceremony. Um,